Hey guys, it's Mr B and welcome back to the Mr B Read series. This is the series where I read you some of my favourite picture books, funny voices and all. Now today's picture book is a very special picture book and now I know this as more of a performance and when you watch the writer do this performance it's amazing because of all the facial expressions that he uses. I'm going to try my best to recreate this today in picture book form. This is the very famous and very wonderful chocolate cake. So let's get started shall we? Chocolate Cake by Michael Rosen and illustrated by Kevin Waldron. When I was a boy I had a favourite treat. It was when my mum made chocolate cake. Oh I loved chocolate cake. My mum she says to me listen Michael if there's any chocolate cake left over at the end of the day, you can take some to school tomorrow to have at playtime or at lunchtime. So I used to go to school with a piece of chocolate cake in my lunchbox and I'd be walking to school, yeah, it's in there, yeah, I know it's in there. Ooh. And I'd get to school and it would be playtime or lunchtime and I'd open the box. I'd take it out. Oh, there's a good old chocolate cake, it's gonna go in there, oh, it's so yummy. Mm. I'd open up the paper, oh, gotta get it, look at it, oh, oh I love them. Yes, I loved my mum's chocolate cake. And one time, there was some chocolate cake left over at the end of the day. And I went to bed. I was fast asleep and then, in the middle of the night, I woke up and I thought, chocolate cake. Mm. <laughs> maybe, maybe I could go downstairs and just have a little look at it. No one would know. So I got up out of the bed. Shh, I mustn't wake my brother up along the passage. Careful to tr not to tread on the creaky floorboard outside mum and dad's bedroom because if they wake up and find me, I'll be in big trouble, so I better be really quiet. <coughs> they still asleep? Yes, oh, okay. Along the passage, down the stairs, into the kitchen, open the cupboard, and yeah, there it is. So I take it out and just have a little look at it. Oh, what's this? And then I notice there are some crumbs on the plate. So I think if I lick my finger, I could pick up some of those crumbs. No one would know anything about it. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh yes, there's a sticky bit there, it's all going to go in there, really. And then I notice on the side of the cake, there's just some little crumbly bits just falling off. So I think I could just take a knife and I could just tidy it up a bit. No one would notice. Get the knife. Scrape. Scrunch it all together. And the scrumbly bits and the sticky bits and it's all going to go in there. And we'll get belly belly. And then I notice as I've tidied it a bit up over here, ooh, I could maybe just tidy up the other end over here, so I take the knife again and I, this time I go through the crispy bit on top, through the squishy bit in the middle and, and I've got a whole slice this time. Yeah, it's all gonna go in there and it's belly, 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 and it's so mm. Oh, and now I've got the taste in my mouth and I just can't stop myself going, kadoosh, 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 and I get the three sides, I go, just gobble it up, gobble, 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 I'm 
It's all gone. Oh no, they're bound to notice now. Our whole chocolate cake doesn't just disappear, does it? What am I going to do? Oh, I know. I'll wash up the plate and the knife and they won't know a thing about it. Good thinking. So I take the plate and the knife and wash it up really quiet. Washing up the plate and the knife. And then I don't get to dry up. I get the cloth and get the cloth on the side. Don't forget the knife. And don't forget to put them away. Plate back in the cupboard. And the knife in the drawer. Phew. And then back up to bed. Shh. Up the stairs. Along the passage. Now. I know where the creaky floorboard is now, so all I've got to do is tread over it, because if I tread on it and it makes up a noise, I am dead. Be careful now. Are still asleep? Yes. Oh, it's okay. Into the bedroom, into bed, under the covers. Mm, nice warm feeling. Chocolate cake in my belly, goody, goody, goody. Mm. And off to sleep I go. In the morning, I get up and go downstairs. I'm having my breakfast. My mum is busy over there and she's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, don't forget your book folder. And she hands me my book folder. And I'm busy having my breakfast. She's busy over there, she's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, there's something else. Yes, there's something else. It's like nice. There's some chocolate cake left over from yesterday for you to take to school. And I went, oh, all right, yeah. And she says, what's the matter? You usually jump at the idea of having chocolate cake. And I went, yeah, it's all right, yeah, it's okay. And she starts looking at me very closely, just here to my mouth just there and she says what's that and I said what's what it's not it's not chocolate cake is it and I said I don't know and she went out to the cupboard it's gone the chocolate cake's gone you haven't eaten the whole of the rest of the chocolate cake, have you? And I said, I don't know. You don't know, she said. You don't know. I don't believe a word of it. Now, off you go to school. No, before you go to school, go upstairs to the bathroom and wash your dirty, sticky face. I went upstairs to the bathroom and looked in the mirror and I saw it. Just there, chocolate smudge, chocolate blob. And I looked at it and I thought, maybe next time we'll have chocolate cake. Should I forget about it? Do you think she will? The end. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to hear me read my rendition of chocolate cake. Please support the official release and I'll see you again next time. Take care.